Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are playing Boros Convoke. This deck list all of a sudden apparently vanished on my best of one ladder. It was generally pretty much 40 to 50% of any like day session that I had in best of one and it just completely disappeared and it became control and domain and things like that. So I said, wow, what a great time for me to be the Boros Convoke player. Play it when I don't have to play a ton of mirrors and I can actually get some interesting games against the decks that are a little bit slower and show how this deck can be so dominant in that best of one ladder whenever our opponents start to slow down their decks and have to deal with the bigger progressive decks in the format, allowing us to generally get underneath them and win that way. Outside of that, we're going to go ahead and hop into the games. It's a little bit of a short one, not for the lack of uh, games that we played. Okay, well, I think we can keep this. This one makes sense. I know, big surprise. Big, big surprise gamer here. Watch me rip the Gleeful Demolition and never not have it. You know what I'm saying? This is why we lose to Convoke, okay? It's not your fault. Clients. You did nothing wrong. Hey, look at this. They're like every time, dude. And I agree. I agree. Sure. Make a treasure. Wow. You're looking the race here? I think racing here is wild. But sure. Makes sense. Like if they think they have a good enough hand, I I don't blame them. It actually takes a lot staring this down to be like, all right, I'm just attacking and hope they trade or something. But let's get in there. Yep. Uh-huh. I would like to keep this hand, yes. Team, uh, be good. You will play Mountain. Play Epicure. Look, me looking at this hand is actually kind of upsetting me, but nothing I can do about it. It's up to my oh. Oh, that's weird. That's a weird call. This is so good. Why does case here? I think so. I just think I make it as hard as possible. Just hit that for one. That's a weird play for me to have to make. Where I was so ready to just pop and do my thing. Tap out here. Sure. Makes sense. Let us make sure we don't hunt the mana away here. We need the white source. Sure. We go here, we go here, we go into this, into this. Force. What else would we do? Doesn't really matter how these get tapped for right now, at least. We could have done all five and maybe kept a mana open. But with. Oh, I needed the white. I couldn't keep a mana open. That's right. Duh. Now look, they're audacitying. They're like, look, I can trample and do a ton. That curse that's vigilance that's good it's indeed good and all right so they mm. they block here of course this is two four six eight ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen i think it's enough But I'm not that great at math, so. I'm going to count again. So they block here. They take 10. That's easy enough. Yeah, it's lethal. Wow. If I just do it like that, it's so easy. Invoke player doing math. Spam space bar. Go, 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 go. Me in. 
I mean, you said to block the biggest creature. I think it's pretty clear. It's a ton, but maybe not super clear that lethal. Bada bing, bada boom. Who goes first? Sure. Just hurts sometimes, you know? It just hurts to like have like an okay hand and then just be like, well, you know, what if, oh, we're gonna get hit with temporary lockdown. That's for sure. Um, that's really funny. I can't wait to die. This, so here these come. I could do the tap here and then gleeful demolition, but then I can't night errant like I want to. So we just do this. You know? Force them to have the lockdown. Force it. Think, think about it this way, right? Our opponent was on the play. Isn't that, a, isn't that the craziest part of this whole thing? Is that they were on the play. Now, of course, we're going to play the war leader's call first. War leader's call, in my opinion, is better this spot because now they can't just one one block and get a lot of these things off the board plus now they have to actually answer the war leaders call as well life sure and now next turn we could play like we could play epicure ping them for two um just take the damage with the war leaders call and play I'm not even committing more to this board. I'm moving to combat. There they are. Yeah. Thank you for two more. Why not block? Why did we not block? All right, we go first. That was pretty sweet. I like this hand. Get to play come on 0 and 1. Play this as a 2-3, which puts a counter on it already, which gives it some good value. And Kamano is probably one of the better one mana rag cards printed in a quite a while. It's this or Ragvan, you know, both are close. <laughs> Obviously that's a joke. Well, we play Warden. Warden comes in, does a little tap action, and then next turn we can play land, play another Warden, play a case, and then we'll be a little bit short. Actually, this works out perfectly for us. Unless they Gleeful Demolition, then we're, then we're screwed. No Gleeful. Wow, we get away with one here. I think. Play a Warden. Play a case. Ping this out of the way here. I think with this current hand, the better to scry or to not scry. This matchup, it might be better to scry, to be honest. Full demolition of our own, but no way to use it. So we'll let it go. We could blow up their thing, I guess, but if they blow it up here, then keeping gleeful demolition on top was stupid. There's a two, three. There's a land. Play this. I will only attack with things that trade. I think. Or do I even have to do that? Can I just go over the top and get way more value that way? Oh no, because then my case gets activated. Only attack with things that trade here. Don't give them a free block on my warden. Get in, put them down to 10. This now activates, now they're permanently bigger. And if they try to go for like, let's fill up the board situation. Ooh. Yeah? Yes? Indeed, that is a thing.
Hopefully I'm gonna lose to that card of all things. Sure. Genuinely cannot believe that I'm gonna lose to this card. Warden, come in, hit me for five. They attack me for five, they make a thing for five, and I'm dead. My opponent goes first. Why not? Why not, opponent? Why not go first? There's a slow girk pile. It's gonna be kind of hard for me to keep up with regardless, I guess. So now we get to play Sokazan, play Kamano, play Ganjo, play Novice Inspector, play Gleeful Demolition. All looking good in general. Uh huh. Sure. Back there. Lethal demolition. Uh huh. We're gonna play the third tap lane in a row. Oh, look at you go. Correct. Absolute animal, if you would. Let us play Warden here. All right, they got something. Because what? There's something. We attack. I don't really care to commit too much. I don't know what it is they got. I'll play this case and not be able to remove anything. But it will trigger and go to the end. Our creatures are larger. Right. Gain one more life? No? Okay. Sure. This one? Are you getting fogged? One. Sure. Okay. I'm gonna lie. Every time I see the Slogurk deck, this is what I think would ever happen to it. Cause I'm always like, how is this deck viable when this deck's running around in best of one specifically? And I'm glad I finally get to see it. Cause I generally never play either of these decks, but I've always wondered how people submit Slogurk on the ladder in best of one and just be like, I won't run in the Convoke. It'll be fine. Uh, my opponent goes first. Didn't like the worst hand, by the way. We'll keep. Mono makes his hand like keepable, I think. Yeah, sure. We'll get Kamano cooking right away. We'll hit for one. We'll play Warden. Kind of hope to draw another one mana spell. So we can double play things. This guy, oh no. Right here? Looks like we're hitting a lot of land, so next turn's just gonna be a sundown pass by a war leader's call. Lockdown or just a straight up removal spell right now? Could be. Could be either. This is, this is the absurd thing, right? I kind of think I go to combat. Yeah, I just don't want him to counter this. This is how you beat these matchups a lot of times. I think it might be worth missing out on two damage. What do you got for me? A helix, a get loss. Helix. Here. If they had lightning helix anyway and not a counter spell i only miss out on one damage it's like not necessarily bad 
But if it's a get loss, I'm more likely to have my war leaders call stick around. So it's kind of like a a 50-50, you know. There that goes, they miss the land. Okay. Um Now we just full commit here because of how much like on the back end we'll have for three now we force him to answer ah i knew it dude that big sucks They rip that off the top. I'm, I'm actually puking. What do we got? Keep missing lands, but they're finding all the removal that they need when they need it. Just second lockdown. Yeah, my bad dog. I guess I kind of messed up here, huh? I could have used the Mirror Stoke and made it and Gleeful Demolitioned it and done all this anyway. What more board wipes do you think they got? Ah, yeah. There we go. Why not? I'm getting blown out. This whole scenario right here definitely changes if I just do it the other way, but they could then hold up a No More Lies. Let's pass. You get a completely unhindered turn, Mr. Control. Would you like? You miss another land? How? Stop getting all these spells. Hmm? I'm back. Sure, we pass. I try not to make the same mistake as last time. Sure. Now I play, I make another Mirix. I gleeful, I gleeful, and then I can just like haste beat them. Let's see if they do something weird where they like tap out and do something. What, what do you got? What? Absurd. Actually absurd. Never concede. Never surrender. Never what? Never back down. Never what? I mean, that, that works. Huh? Huh? I just can't believe they tapped out. Maybe they didn't have anything. Well, okay. Very cool. We got to do a win where we get to grind it out. It's definitely a little bit different, but okay. Well, here we are with the deck that I think feels horrible to play against in best one sometimes. And I think the hands will be showed today showcase that I didn't want to make it too much longer of us just doing the same thing over and over again. Cause that's pretty much what we do. But there was a couple of games where I kind of just ripped the best thing to do. And it was just, is what it is. The only real changes that I've seen is that War Leader's Call has gone from a four to a two of, and then Kamanos have been added in as well, which is a little bit different. And then the Crazy Bat Lady is now out of the deck list. Um, the other three drop Lord because Lockdown, Sunfalls, Marches, and all that are really good against that style of card. So it doesn't really matter regardless. It just becomes a 2-1 attacks. But the meta's, the meta's shifted. And it's been in quite a weird place in best of one where I was so used to just having this deck be 40 to 50% of my matches at any one given time. I was playing yesterday. I did best of three yesterday, but I ended up playing yesterday and best of one before I did best of three. 
and it just became domain control slow decks after slow decks and i was like where's all the convoke at where did the convoke go just like one day two days it just fell off the face of the earth and went away so it felt like a good time to play it because i didn't want to play against a bunch of mirrors because that's not very entertaining to me at least maybe you find a lot of mirrors entertaining but i played against one i we ended up losing to a weird mirror like it was a it was a mirror but their plan was definitely different than ours but regardless came away with some wins today very cool had some losses some were pretty standard and traditional where my opponent was on the play i played a thing they played a lockdown i looked through nothing and then i died so that one's probably not going to be in but we did lose a mirror which will be it just is what it is but outside of that i hope you all enjoyed regardless i have really nothing else to say about this deck list and i'll catch you all in the next one thanks for watching and goodbye